Welcome to California RV Specialists, we're an independent repair shop in Lodi, California. In between repairing units on the lot and helping customers in our storefront, we also help people just like you via phone and emails. You may have seen our series, What's in the Shop? Well, now we're sharing what's in the box. We are pulling from our email and voicemail files and responding in this video format. Let's see what we received today. Hey everybody, so welcome again to What's in the Box. My name is Dustin. And I'm Zach. So let's go see what's in the box. Hello Dustin, I'm looking for repair options for my Lance Model 1120 truck camper with some collision damage. I hit an overhead I beam yesterday. Is this something you can take a look at? Thanks, Harold. Whoa. <laughs> uh, so, so that's on a Lance camper. Yeah, um, I, I wanna jump off number one first thing looking at this this cab over um i'm not sure about specifics on stuff i myself don't play a ton in cab over campers but i believe the 1120 um their newer versions of it went fiberglass shortly into the 2000s so he didn't specify a year uh but more than likely that's probably very early 2000s or late 90s um so that kind of starts the, the thing off right away. As we referenced in other videos, um, sometimes things may be worth more to you than they are in reality. Um, so it really depends upon what you want to do. Uh, if we reference back to the picture, I kind of want to point something out uh, that we were talking about a second ago. The Mesa panel is what you're looking at there. That's that metal, that crinkly metal. The um, that skin is, it's S-locked together. Right? It's, you have your sheet that runs through, and then you have an S-lock that runs up underneath and another sheet goes underneath of it. So if you're repairing something like this, just from the exterior, which we'll jump into the interior yeah, in a yeah, second, yeah. there's a lot. Um, <laughs> I can't believe <laughs> Looking at the exterior, it's not just like, hey, you take that one piece off, you do your thing. I mean, you're unsheeting all those pieces to get to that top piece. So so like you said, get to the, get to the heat of it, right? Yeah. Unless you love that thing, can it be fixed? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, there's no option. It, it, it's total. You know that hit the roof, the front cap, and the side wall. And like Zach says, with the aluminum sheeting, the new sheeting is going to stand out like a sore thumb. Yep. So everybody's always going to see a brand new piece across the front, a brand new piece piece all the way across the side. Everything has to come off to get to that. Yep. Everything. And then so we're talking new, you know, even if we sectioned in the roof, yeah, you know, new roof, you know, insurance wise, new complete roof, restructure the corner, new front wall. I mean, it that and then the side top that's crushed, that sheet goes all the way across. So and it buckled it too. Right? As I was stating, it has to be unsheeted. That entire side has to be unsheeted, front end that. Both so, I mean, it's it's a lot of work, and that's not even jumping to the interior. So, in looking back at that, there is the damage that punctures all the way through to the inside, right? Um, paneling, probably not going to really be able to get any more. The framing is going to be destroyed. Um, this is just going to be one of those units that, hey, again, like we touched on at the beginning of the video. The gift if it means giving. <laughs> yeah, if it means a lot to you, money's no option, fantastic. You're going through insurance, that thing is total. total beyond so uh i hope we answered all the questions on that and uh we'll see you next time on what's in the box thanks so much for watching don't click off just yet i've linked some other videos for you to see what else is in the box and the shop